about to be the most fun I've had in a very long time. Ah! Ah! You ready for today? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Are you gonna run the truck too? Tires are in the back. <laughs> <laughs> if I do run, it's gonna be NA because there's no nitrous plate on it no more. Sandy got rid of the boss intake. He's now running a GT350, which- It's so much smaller than the boss. I feel like there's so much more room up oh, here. There's tons. The boss is like this tall. <laughs> yeah. This thing's like this tall. Did you pour it out? Did you have time to pour it out beforehand? It is not ported yet. But it will be. Yes, and I got the tune for it, and it's way spicier. Cool, well, can't wait, all right. We gotta finish packing, it's getting late. It is currently 4.40 in the morning, <laughs> and we're on our way. And we've made it. Are you Jesus? No. Oh, thanks for the coffee. Is that Pipe? Up. Is that the Pites from Texas? I know. In the flesh, man. Good to see you. Long time no see. I know. You ready for today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> some shit up. <laughs> hey, amen to that. Let's go, baby. Hello. How are you, kid? <gasps> oh, my God. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> our goal today is to beat our personal record of a 936 in the quarter mile. We ran that quarter mile time almost two years ago, and since then we haven't even been able to come close. I don't even know that we've done a sub 95 since then, but we've gotten everything dialed on the car. We have a new freshened up Texas speed motor. We have new dots and clutches. We have a new Pites Performance Twin Turbo Kit, including Pites himself from Texas, who's going to be helping with the trackside tuning today. We got the whole team out here, and uh, we're hoping, we're hoping, uh, fingers crossed, but our goal is to get our best personal record today. In a perfect world, we hit eights, but one thing at a time. We gotta get the car dialed. Let me see those hands. No lube today? No lube today. <laughs> I think I read somewhere that the competition seats were heavier than the GT2 seats. And this definitely feels heavier. I hate these seats. Me too. Well, they don't like you either. I like so. your Z06 seats. Really? I like these seats better. Uh, I dislike the Z06 seats because they're white. Yeah, but like this width is like, who, what it's, What fits in that? That's a child seat. This is perfect for me. What That's a mean? child seat. This yes. is perfect. It's always so confusing to me that the C16 is blue, but the meth isn't. It's because you're used to breaking bad. We're going to do a warm up run to get a feel for the car. Why is she stopped? Yeah. It told me zero oil pressure started flashing red. So I slammed on the brakes and killed the car. I'll be down there in a second. I hope that was just the math not reading, but the second I saw zero, I was like, nope, we're killing this. See if you can just drive it back. Okay. If it's just dash, 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 then it's probably got oil pressure. Fire it. Usually it does. Usually that just means math is tripping out for some yep. reason. Sounds like it's got oil pressure. Yeah. You looked great. Flow, Did you see the boost spike that I saw? Then we lost oil pressure. It just went right on the screen. You guys will see it on my GoPro. It said zero oil pressure, flashing red. I was like, oh shit, I slammed all the brakes, killed the car. When I turned it back on, it just said dash, dash, dash. And usually that happens when um, we're, n we're getting a, a power interference issue, which we've had in the past. So we're just gonna fix it again. Got an engine oil pressure sensor switch circuit low. Oh God, that's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Carly. I am interrupting today's episode to show you a product that is a must for anyone who owns a car, which I'm guessing is a lot of you. Whether you're dealing with the dreaded check engine light, wanna run some diagnostics on your car, or just wanna see some additional live data, Carly has got you covered. Carly is a universal OBD2 Bluetooth scanner that works with both iOS and Android. Carly wants to be the companion for all car fans worldwide for whom their car is more than just a mode of transportation. When you buy a Carly scanner, you get this simple device you plug into the OBD2 port on your car and it will allow you to check codes, delete codes, access live data like oil pressure, AFRs, coolant temps, and more. You can even code your car. Let's say you have a 2017 Mustang with some issues because you might have put a blown bake block in. I mean, 
listen, it happens to the best of us. You simply plug in the Carly scanner, connect to your phone, and voila, I can see all the codes it's throwing. Check for any issues, and let's see what it comes up with. Wow, 43 issues. That's gotta be a world record. Now I know what I need to do if I wanted to fix the issues. It's nice that it shows what issues are very bad versus what issues are minor. I would simply remove the big block and fix the errors that I'm seeing, clear the codes with Carly, and then continue to use the scanner to monitor the car to make sure that the issues are gone for good. And there we go. Now the car thinks it's a five liter again. And also, if you don't know how to solve the issue, Carly has repair guides for your specific issue with Smart Mechanic. And another really nice feature that I like is the live data feed. I can get custom gauges and parameters for my cars without having to wire in or mount additional gauges. This little device is extremely powerful and useful to anyone with a car. Click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order with code AMELIA23. Now, let's get back to the video. Uh, we were able to fix our issue with an it's okay to not be okay zip tie available on the website at hartfordltd.com. Uh, the only pressure sensor tabs are broken and it backed out but uh thanks to this we're able to get it fixed we have oil pressure i think next we're gonna just step into it do a solid one two shift and uh look at the data if it looks good we're gonna go for it what does go for it mean it means send it it means fucking send it sandy i can't help but notice you are changing your tires i might be I can't help but notice you might be changing your tires. Might be changing my tires. You're also not running any nitrous today. No nitrous. All motor. Just kind of going to do some logging and see what it does. So we get some data. There's nothing attractive about putting a helmet on. Like, there's no way I can do it and feel like I'm looking good. I want like squinty eye just trying to get it on. It's not, it's not appealing. It's just not a very good look. I could pass on nine pounds of boost. Yeah. Uh, that was our first clean pass. Everything felt good. The ships were a little boggy first through third, but we'll take a look at things, change a couple things, and go back out. 10 through without even trying. <laughs> Sounded like it was running on seven cylinders. Yeah. What are the noises? Service ESC, service traction control, rear system off. I was trying to keep an eye on things. Everything looked all right fuel trim wise. Oh, I got a flashing check engine light right now. It just felt like it was holding back power. Yeah, well, it sounded like poo. We're getting a lot of good data off of this car. It may not seem like we've accomplished a lot, but we really have. This is the first time driving this car in a year. The first time really chasing the limits of this car in almost two. So overall, so far it's going good. We are letting the car cool down and change the spark plugs and then we'll be back out there. We think it's breaking up because maybe the plugs just are bad. It's really interesting to be driving the Stingray after being at the track last week with the Z06. Even though they're the same car, they're two completely different cars. I couldn't tell you which one I like more, even though the Phoenix kind of has a special place in my heart, and God, do I love a twin turbo pushrod V8. You're an MVP. What do you mean? It's over 100 degrees out. 
the car was still sitting at a nice 200 and you can stuck your arm in there to change those plugs 180 it was 180. that's still hot i think we're ready to rock and roll <laughs> Sounds a lot less pissed. Yeah. Definitely a lot better. One, four, three, six each. My phone will trigger emergency SOS if you don't respond. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, that's never happened before. I don't know who my emergency is. It's like your ex boyfriend from third grade. <laughs> Seven. The 146. Yeah, that's good, Mom. It's hour. cooking. Yeah, 162. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. But if it didn't spin, that was easily a sub 95. It's really interesting doing boost by. We're doing boost by RPM, but we've kind of figured it out to be by gear because every shift is resetting it. But it's a crazy feeling because I feel it getting pulling harder and harder in each gear. I think that's our fastest mile per hour yet. That's crazy, 146 at 97. All right, it's breaking up, not staying in it. We're gonna back it up. funny right now. I want to go stage, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator pedal, lose two stepping up, that, that, and then without touching anything, still foot on the brake, it went whap, and went up to red line, and I came off the throttle pedal, and it was still climbing. Like, it was really weird. It's in the hundreds today. The car is running super hot. We barely get a pass before we have to let her cool down. off anymore to do a burnout so it's really pissed yeah i mean it sounds good if it's not it's just not getting traction i'll find i think there's an issue with the diff i think we've been fighting this a long time so there's a couple things that we do know one, I'm a little envious of everyone on the East Coast where it's significantly cooler and not 110 degrees where we keep having this car get a little too hot with super high intake air temps. The other thing is we can't seem to hook getting off the line. You know why? Well, that's oh, yeah. why? It's all that pites power. That's all the pites power. I see this as a good day though because yeah. now we've replaced everything and we can confirm that this is a transaxle issue with the car. And everything else is working pretty good. That's what I mean. I mean, you're running like casual tens and just couldn't get off the line anymore because the diff's not working it's just not grabbing i mean we have a high mile per hour yeah i think the highest yet yeah we said let's try going out one more time stock and then if it doesn't work i guess we just need to put a sequential in this thing it's always fun it's always fun <laughs> watching everybody <laughs> suffer yes